Hey everyone. Um, I don't want to yell because it might like echo into the camera. But um, today I'm filming my natural hair routine. I know it looks really like stringy right now, but uh, I couldn't wait for it to dry because the sun is going to be setting soon. So um, I will insert a picture at the end of the video on what it looks like when it's completely dry. My voice. But yeah, um, it's heatless. It's only four products four products and yeah it was requested because my hair tan talked about like my hair um my natural hair and the products I use in it but um this is actually different because I don't use all those products anymore because it's just lighter on the hair so um this was requested and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see how I get this but actually I'll probably insert the picture now of what it looks like because it looks better then you can keep on watching. Okay, so starting with your hair, just coming fresh out of the shower and take off your towel and just reveal that messy mane that you have. <laughs> now I'm just gonna be taking my Motions Nourish Leave-In Conditioner and this works as basically like a detangling spray and also a leave-in. So just go ahead and spray that all throughout your hair and really saturate your hair with this because this is going to help prevent breakage when we do comb out the hair since it is wet and it's very fragile at this point. Now I'm just going to take my shower comb. This is by Conair and it's just a regular shower comb. It's like a dollar and you just want to go and just comb through your strands like normal just to get out any tangles to make it easier to work with and this is just something you need to be gentle with as well to prevent breakage. Now I'm squeezing out all the excess water because we don't need that in our hair. Now I'm taking my extra strength Moroccan Argan Oil by Organics and this is just a penetrating oil. It's their strongest strength as I've mentioned times before. I'm just going to squeeze about a dime size amount and put this um, from my hair to the ears down and then just take the excess and run it through the top of my hair. Now I'm going in with my Garnier Fructis um, anti frizz Serum. Oh, it's almost done. And I'm just going to take one pump of this because that's all I really need. And I'm just going to apply this to the top of my hair because it's where it gets frizzy. And then run it throughout the rest of my hair, whatever's left on my palms. Now I'm just going to take my comb again and comb through to evenly distribute the products I just applied. Now I'm taking my Holy Grail Park, my Emotions Foaming Wrap Lotion, and this acts as my mousse because I do not like the feeling that mousse gives my hair. So I'm going to take three pumps of this. It's very lightweight. And I'm just going to apply this to the side of my head that has more hair, which would be my right side. And you just want to kind of scrunch it in and like kind of squeeze the hair up just to kind of get your curl pattern started a little bit. And I'm taking two pumps for the other side of my hair because there's less hair and really that's all I need. You're only going to need about three to six pumps depending on your hair and how much hair you have with this product so you don't need a lot. It really does the job once it dries. Now I'm going to take my towel and I'm going to kind of I guess blot <laughs> the extra water and extra product and this is what's going to really help you get that curl pattern rather than using your hands because your hands kind of like pull the hair down. This really pushes the hair up and kind of have, leaves it to form. So this is my hair I guess after all of that and I'm just going to kind of use my hands lightly to kind of shape the curls a little bit more. Again I have to wait for it to dry for it to really show up as you saw in the picture at the beginning of this. So here's the strings that I'm left with right now because it's not dry as I've mentioned times before. And you know, you could just play with it, do it from the back a little bit. Just use that scrunching method. Yeah, girl. Yeah, so that would just be the hair. Okay, hey guys. So that was the tutorial. And um, everybody's hair is going to come out different because mine's not even dry yet. And I can't wait, like I already said. So I hope you all enjoy it. Tweet me pictures if you try. I want to see what y'all's natural hair looks like. I think it's pretty. And um, yeah. So if you have any other hair tutorials or anything like that, then just leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, lovelies.